Good afternoon and welcome uh, to the June 17th uh, Finance Committee meeting. If you're joining us online, if you would uh, make sure your device is muted until you are called upon and you can be called upon by raising your virtual hand um, and Jennifer will acknowledge you if you're here in um, the council meeting room, if you would make sure that your devices are turned to manners mode and when you approach the podium, if you would make sure the microphone is on and um, be sure to identify yourself. And with that, we'll hear the first item, Jennifer. Number 10, ordinance third reading, defining the terms and conditions of employment for sworn officers of the Cheyenne Police Department for fiscal year 2024 to 2025, repealing and replacing ordinance numbers 45, 20, and 4539. Hey, staff report. Madam Chairwoman, members of the committee, this is Captain David Jane, Cheyenne Police Department. What you have before you is third reading. You've seen it a couple of times. This is the repeal and replace of the terms and condition for sworn employees of the Cheyenne Police Department. Uh, this is one thing we have to redo every year. And as well, it's been uh, changed to match our current budget. Thank you. Any questions from committee? Any public comment? Hearing and seeing none, I would entertain a motion. Uh, Madam Chair, I move to approve on third and final reading. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Councilman Cook and a second by Councilman Johnson and Councilman White. Um, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, this item will move forward with a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item. Number 20H, Industrial and Economic Development Service Agreement between the City of Cheyenne and the Cheyenne Laramie County Corporation for Economic Development, or LEADS, for the period of July 1st, 2024 to June 30th of 2025 from the General Fund. Staff report. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Robin Lockman, City Treasurer. Before you today is the annual economic development contract between LEADS and the City of Cheyenne for the period of July 1st, 2024 to June 30th, 2025. The contract amount is $100,000 and it was included in the recently approved fiscal year 25 budget. I have invited representatives from LEADS to attend today to answer questions and I'm available as well. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions from committee? Oh, it looks like Bessie has her hand raised. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, Madam Chair and members of the Finance Committee, as, along with city staff, um, I just want to uh, let you know that we continue to carry out your work of economic development. We're currently working 27 active prospects, and I believe Dante is there in person today, and he remains very, very busy in all of our industrial parks that we either own or manage. And so it's very exciting uh, to have your continued financial investment. Uh, we are incredibly grateful and look forward to this partnership for many, many years to come. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions for um, Bessie or for staff? Okay, is there any public comment? Okay, hearing or seeing none, I would entertain a motion. Uh, Madam Chair. I move to approve in an amount not to exceed $100,000. Second. Okay, we have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman White to approve. Any discussion? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead, Councilman Johnson. So um, over the weekend, um, I, I understand that Betsy has 27 active projects, but over the weekend, I was asked if we had any progress on conversations in regard to the hole and the Hines. Um, Don, uh, thank, Betsy. thank you. Yeah, thank you for unmuting me. Sorry, Dante, I was not unmuted. Uh, we have been working actively with um, the CERDAMs on marketing the property. Uh, we do have a con uh, consultant, Ayers Consulting, uh, that's assisting them as well. Um, it's been an interesting challenge because we did have the Overland Park Group that had submitted the um, WCDA grant application, and they unfortunately weren't funded for their Cheyenne project. They were funded for their Laramie project. So uh, I think what we're doing right now is either trying to find uh, an alternative to the Overland Park group or um, get back with Overland Park and see if they'll be submitting Cheyenne again next year. Okay, did you. You any, did you have anything you wanted to add, Dante? Okay, thank you. Any other questions from committee? 
Ma Madam Chair. Yes, go ahead, Councilman White. Just wanted to thank um, Betsy and her staff for all the great things they do for our community, uh, the city and Leeds have had a long standing relationship and a very constructive one. I think um, I think our investment is, I think we get a lot of return on our investment for the things Leeds uh, does. So I'm happy to support this. Thank you, Councilman White. Any other questions or comments from the committee? Okay, any public comment? Councilman Laybourne. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Appreciate the recognition that I am. I had to learn that by now. Um, I appreciate the recognition that I am not a member of the public. I am a member of the city council, and I am here to learn about the actions that the finance committee takes. I would uh, point out that a number of us went on a tour of the business parks recently, and. <clears throat> I don't know about everybody else, but I was uh, frankly amazed at the magnitude of those efforts and their uh, that are underway right now. I mean, it isn't uh, this isn't someday. This is today. So uh, this is certainly uh, brings value that I think every other community in Wyoming would be uh, couldn't believe they could have opportunities like this. So this is uh, really a uh, has been a, a very worthwhile investment. And I think at this particular point, that figure is well justified. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Laborn, and I would concur with that. Um, we Several of us had an opportunity to do that tour on Friday afternoon, and um, it was very informative. And so we appreciate you guys doing that, Dante. Any other questions or comments from the public? Okay, hearing or seeing, then I would entertain a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a motion. So, uh, any... I'll give you another one if you want. No, that's fine. Uh, so we have a motion um, by Councilman Cook and a second by Councilman White. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 This item will move forward with a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item, please. Number 21C, contract modification number two to contract number 7538 between the City of Cheyenne and Top Flight Maintenance Incorporated for janitorial services for the City of Cheyenne Municipal Building from the General Fund. Staff report. Vicki Nemechek, Public Works. This is the this is for an additional year of janitorial service in the municipal building. The requested increase is for the year is $1,337, which is 3% overall. The uh, proposed rate is uh, $45,905 for the year in the municipal building. We uh, That'll be from July 1st to June 30th. Um, it has gone up since the original year. This is the third year, um, but it is still below the second bid from three years ago. Um, I recommend approval and I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay, hey, are there any questions from committee? Any public comment? Okay, hearing or seeing none, I would entertain a motion. Madam Chair, I move to approve uh, in an amount not to exceed $45,905.00. Second. Okay, we have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman Johnson. Um, any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Hey, this item will move forward with a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item, please. Number 21D, contract modification number two to contract number 7539 between the City of Cheyenne and Top Flight Maintenance Incorporated for janitorial services for the City of Cheyenne Municipal Court from the General Fund. Okay, hey, staff report. Vicki Nemechek, Public Works. This is conf contract modification number two for the municipal court to add an additional year of janitorial service. They have a requested increase included of $443, which is again, 3% overall um, for the total of $15,203 for the year, uh, July 1 through June 30th of 2025. Um, again, this... Uh, Third year, even though there have been increases, is still lower than the uh, original contract 
second bidder. I believe with the to with all of these um, contracts, it'll bring the total up to over one hundred thirty six thousand dollars for top flight um, maintenance um, for this maintenance agreement. So, any questions from committee? Unless they do, I I do have one, but okay. I'll let them go first if they do. Councilman White or Councilman Johnson? Doesn't look like they do. So, Councilman Cook. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, through you to the director. Director, I just, this is just a, I'm just curious, a curiosity. Maybe this is for yourself or, or TJ, but I see that we have three, well, four, it looks like, um, four separate. Is it easier for us to have all these contracts separated? Is that why we're, is that why we do it this way? I'm just wondering why. You never check public for this way. Public works. We did bid these as separate items on the bid sheet, but yes, we we went out for all of them at the same time. We have other buildings, other facilities right. that have uh, janitorial service as well. The um, transfer station, for example, are they are not with top flight, so we have okay. uh, a few others. Okay. Yeah, I would just I was just I guess, Madam Chair, if I may, through you to respond to the. Uh, well, I guess to TJ, yeah, I, I just was curious. It was just a curiosity more than anything why, um, why these these four buildings in particular that are, that are in particular that are all with top flight, why they're separate contracts. But sure. maybe there's, I'm sure you've got a, a rationale for that. Sure. Dr. Aldrich, through you to Councilman Cook, TJ Bartleport, Purchasing Manager. At the time that this bid was solicited, we also wanted to have the ability that in the event that there was poor performance at one facility, we could cancel that contract without it affecting the other facilities that were also bid at this time, which is why we have individual contracts by facility so we can administratively handle them for uh, non-conformance or non-performance okay. at any of those specific locations. Thank you. I appreciate that explanation. Any other questions from committee? Any public comment? Hearing or seeing none, I would entertain a motion. Madam Chair, I move to approve in an amount not to exceed $15,203.00. Second. We have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman Johnson to approve. Any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, this item will move forward with a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item, please. Number 21E, contract modification number three to contract number 7540 between the City of Cheyenne and Top Flight Maintenance Incorporated for janitorial services for the City of Cheyenne, Cheyenne Public Safety Center from the General Fund. Okay, staff report. Vicki Nemechek, Public Works. This is for the uh, Public Safety Center, a renewal for an additional year of janitorial service. There is no uh, cost increase on this particular one. It is uh, $65,100 for the year. It uh, also is, general, is lower than the second bid um, from June of 2022. They have been with Top Flight for more for one additional year. Uh, they contracted with them earlier than the rest of us did. Okay. But I recommend approval. Happy to answer any questions. Great. Thank you. Any questions from the committee? Any public comment? Hearing none or seeing none, I would entertain a motion. Madam Chair, I move to approve in an amount not to exceed $65,100.00. Second. Hey, we have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman Johnson. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 This item will move forward with a, a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item, please. Number 21F, contract modification number two to contract number 7541 between the City of Cheyenne and Top Flight Maintenance Incorporated for janitorial services for the City of Cheyenne Youth Alternatives and Special Friends Building from General Fund. Okay, staff report, please. Vicki Namachek, Public Works. Um, this is for Youth Alternatives and Special Friends, renewal of an additional year of janitorial service. The requested increase is for $390. That is a 3% increase overall. The uh, It's broken down into two pieces, $13,374 a year for uh, cleaning of, the, of Youth Alternatives, and then an as-needed cleaning at $50 per cleaning for an amount not to exceed $2,600. The total 
for the contract is 15,974. And this is the only one that the, the uh, services for the youth alternatives is slightly higher, but um, than the second bid, but about a hundred dollars was my, if I remember correctly. But the per cleaning fee was more than double. Okay. Um, any questions from committee? I did have one question um, for you. The, so we are, they are being cleaned. This building is being cleaned on a regular basis um, with an additional $50 per cleaning when they have extra activities in there. Is that how that's working? It's not just a per cleaning cost? My understanding is that's cleaned uh, twice a month, but I don't know that for sure. No. Oh, Jay's raising his hand. Jay Sullivan. Madam Chair, Jay Sullivan, the Director of Youth Alternatives. That building, uh, due to its uh, minimum use, is cleaned on an as-needed basis at the rate of $50 a month. I stand by for any further questions. So it would look to me like maybe this is worded incorrectly because it says the renewal rate is for $1,114.50 a month, or is that for the main building and then it's $50 as needed for the special friends building. That's correct. It's two parts. The first, the youth alternatives building itself is 1114.50 for a total of 13,374. The special friends building is an additional 2600 not to exceed 2600 for cleanings at $50 per cleaning or as many times as they need it up to the $2600. Okay, thank you. Any other questions from committee? Any public comment? Hearing or seeing none, I would entertain a motion. Madam Chair, I move to approve in an amount not to exceed $15,974.00. Second. Okay, we have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman Johnson. Any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 The uh, motion passes and we will recommend, recommend and approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item, please. Number 22F, consideration of bid number S-18-24 for an agreement between the City of Cheyenne and Better Line Roofing for the Cheyenne Fire Station 1 roof replacement project from the general fund. Staff report. Vicki Nemechek, Public Works. This is to replace fire station number one roof. It uh, is the original roof that is on that building. Um, the there were three response, but there were three responsive bidders. Better line roofing was lowest, and we uh, recommend accepting that bid of three hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars. Okay. Are there any questions from the committee? Unless they do, I do have a question. Okay, Linda. Councilman. Go ahead. Uh, through you, Madam Chair, to the director. Um, have we, director, have we used better land roofing in the past? Uh, through you, Chair, no, we have not. Are they, I, I'm sure it goes without saying, but are they properly uh, licensed and insured to operate in the city of Cheyenne? Through, through you, Madam Chair. Um, yes, we, uh, I'll let TJ go ahead with that and answer this one. And maybe I should ask TJ that more specifically. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Director. Mr. Bartlebort, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and repeat the question for you. Just um, um, have we, I guess, have, have we used this company before for any of our projects? And then are they properly licensed and insured and, uh, to operate in the city of Cheyenne? Sure. Dr. Aldrich, through you to Councilman Cook, TJ Bartlebort, Purchasing Manager. The, your first question, no, we have, to my recollection, we have never used this vendor before. Uh, at the time of the bid opening, I did check with the building department to see if they were licensed, and they actually, Betterline had submitted their application to become a licensed contractor within the city. I believe that they, to my understanding, I believe they were eligible to receive the license, and I'm not sure if it's been issued, but I think from talking to Cherie, it sounded like they were uh, a qualified, competent contractor and were in the process of becoming licensed. And Prior to any work starting, we will ensure they are licensed and that the appropriate uh, permits are applied for and received prior to construction beginning. Sure, go ahead, Councilman. Um, through you, Madam Chair. Obviously, I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll move this forward. Well, I'll have to make the motion today. Um, 
I'll, I'll move this forward. Certainly, if there's a way, TJ, if you could find that out by by next Monday, you should have sufficient time to find out if they're active or if if there's any hold up with that. But and I and I do acknowledge, like you said uh, before, any work um, uh, transpires that uh, uh, you know they'll have to be licensed. But if you could follow up on that for us, I I would appreciate that. Absolutely, we'll make sure that information is provided before Monday's Thank council you. meeting. Thank you. Uh, any other questions from committee? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, Councilman Johnson. So following up on what Councilman Cook just said, how many on the chart that we got, how many failures do they have to have in regards to some of their compliance issues before we actually deny them? Because it looked like there were two fails under that column where others may have passed. So what's the policy procedure in regards to when we allow pass and fail on those documents? Dr. Aldrich, through you to Councilman Johnson, uh, TJ Bartlebar, Purchasing Manager. So the bid tabulation, evaluation tabulation on page two, the pass fails, that's quite a mouthful, the, excuse me. So the pass fails that are annotated there, the OpenGov procurement software, uh, it's basically you can, when you're reviewing those bids that are submitted, you can mark them as a pass fail. So the in where they are listed as a fail, fail for the resident contractor, it's really more of a yes, no, not a pass fail. So they are not a resident contractor. So they didn't have a failure as a part of their submission. They just weren't a resident contractor. So in response to, are you a resident contractor, a no equals a fail. So it was still a compliant bid submission in terms of uh, how we review our bid. So the pass fail is just a, an indication of whether they met that listed criteria. Thank you. Any other questions from committee? Okay, hearing none, public comment. Mr. White, welcome. Through you, Madam Chairman, Michael White. Uh, I thank TJ for that explanation. Uh, I am concerned a little bit about um, out-of-state contractors. It's listed on the evaluation report there from Colorado. And uh, of course, this is the first time they're doing a project. Um, We've had projects that I know of in the city that have been done with local contractors. But one of the questions I have is the state gave what's called um, one-time state direct distribution funds. Now, as a resident of Wyoming, um, I'm not sure the legislators meant to uh, give money so out-of-state contractors could work in Wyoming. On the other hand, um, I guess the only way the city is going to find out is what kind of job they're going to do. Uh, number two comment, um, it would be good, like uh, Councilman Cook said, and I think that could be done today to call up to the building department if they are licensed. Um, licensing requires a pretty regimental deal. Uh, also have to prove workman's comp insurance for the state of Wyoming. And in addition to having out-of-state contractors, which in the past I've been familiar with some of those issues uh, you get them on the phone maybe they won't even come up and do the warranty work but that's up to the governing body i just find it really hard to understand why we can't seem to get uh, local contractors but i know that i believe it was uh, jason's department that had a local contractor do a roof and if i say that in context with jason i apologize for that but i think there was a local contractor not too long ago um, but I, I'm i one for local Cheyenne and 307 for Wyoming, so I have a little bit of trouble with this, but uh, I leave it up to the council to vote and also uh, ask a question about the licensing like Councilman Cook did. Thank you. Mr. White, I would just comment to you that um, I also asked those same questions before the meeting and um, asked if the preference points for our local contractors had been applied to this before this bid was awarded and had been assured by TJ that even with the um, advantage that our local contractors have that um, they were still um, outbid. So, TJ? Dr. Aldrich, to continue your uh, comment on that, to confirm the way the 5% application works, uh, Betterline Roofing is an out-of-state contractor. They... Uh, as such, you apply a 5% penalty almost. So you basically take their bid times 105%. 
that value gets you to $355,950. So comparing that to the other two bids submitted, Capital Roofing being a local bidder, Douglas Colony being an out-of-state bidder, they were still the apparent low bidder after application of the residency preference. Thank you. And I appreciate your diligence in uh, explaining that and also in all the new software and how it calculates these totals for us. Um, I'm all about using local contractors. I'm not about us using taxpayer dollars to pay um, a substantial amount more and not being as fiscally responsible with tax dollars as we can be just to use someone who's in state. So any other questions or comments from the public? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion. Madam Chair, I move to accept the bid in an amount not to exceed $339,000 dollars and zero cents. Second. We have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman Johnson. Um, any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, um, all in favor say aye. 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 This item will move forward with a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item. Number 22G, consideration of bid number S-26-24 for an agreement between the City of Cheyenne and STC Construction Company Incorporated for the VA Cemetery Road Project from General Fund Reserves. Staff report, Mr. Cobb. Madam Chair, members of the Finance Committee, Tom Cobb, City Engineer. Um, before you and for your consideration is bid S-26-24 for an agreement between the City of Cheyenne and STC Construction. Um, the project entails, of course, from the U.S. National Cemetery, approximately 15 new parking stalls, um, an asphalt roadway, ADA ramps, a sidewalk, and improved drainage. Four bids are received, including STC, JTL Group, DBA, Knife River, Martin Marietta, and Ryman Corp. Um, the bids were reviewed by myself, Ms. Pickett, and Ms. Gates, and our recommendation was accept the lowest responsive bidder, which was STC Construction. The total award for the base bid is $299,237.79. The city did include a 10% incentive clause to have the project complete before August 1st of 2024. That incentive includes $29,923.78 for a grand total for base bid plus 10% incentive for $329,161.57. Um, general fund reserves were approved in the amount of $245,000 via the reappropriation that was completed on March 31st. So we do need additional funding to complete the project um, for a total of $84,000. $161.57. Um, and with that, I will answer any questions you might have of me. Hey, any questions from committee? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Go ahead, Go ahead Councilman Go ahead. Johnson. So, uh, Tom, just on this one, and I read this over, and so it sounds like it's going to be included. So we're taking care of the ADA compliancy with the curb and gutter as well as that road? Madam Chair, through you to Councilman Johnson. So what we've done is on the west side of the roadway where the parking stalls were installed, we did install a sidewalk, not on private property, but within the easement area. So there's three ADA ramps and sidewalk adjacent, again, to the parking stalls. Okay, so I'm going to, since you've looked at a lot of these as well, this price seemed relatively low in regards to the amount of um, street we were going to get now involving curb and gutter. Is this pretty much a customary price that we were expecting in our uh, bid calculations because it seemed like it was a lower than what I expected. Madam Chair, through you to Councilman Johnson, this was about where we thought it was going to be, sir. Okay, thank you. Councilman Cook. I have no questions for Mr. Cobb other than um, he knows how, how uh, supportive I am of this project. So, um, Mr. Cobb, thank you. Um, for your work on this, for your staff's work on this. Um, I I know there are a lot of members of the public that uh, are, are very excited about, about seeing this happen. So um, I'll certainly support this. I hope my colleagues will as well. Um, but I just want to uh, commend you on on working on this. I know it's been a, a long, long process, probably longer than, than any of us wanted it to take, but um, thank you, Mr. Cobb. And uh, um, I look forward to this being done. And uh, I think it's 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 going to be a good thing. 
Madam Chair, just before I finish, just to Mr. Cook, I just wanted to make sure Cassie Pickett should receive all the credit. She did all the work behind the scenes, and I appreciated the effort that she's made. She did. She had to do, Madam Chair, if I may. Um, yes, uh, Mr. Cobb, you are correct, and I know that she did a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the footwork, a lot of the legwork, and um, and uh, a lot of the direct con contact with the uh, you know members of the of the community who who wanted to see this project. So, uh, but you were gracious enough uh, to to let to allow her to do that. But yes, um, her work should be should be uh, commended as well, and and it is very much appreciated. Councilman White. Thank you, Madam Chair. Through you to. Uh... City Engineer, Mr. Cobb. Tom, uh, did the Department of Veteran Affairs come through with any assistance whatsoever on this project? Madam Chair, through you to Councilman White. Mr. White, I understand they're moving forward with something. We haven't seen it yet, but I, I what I understand is they're going to continue the sidewalk and tie into our sidewalk that we're installing, and then I think a restroom facility will follow as well. So that's, that's all I know, sir. Okay. Well, that's good news. Um, uh, my colleague, Mr. Cook, just covered m most of what I was going to say. Thank you to you and thank you to Cassie. Uh, you know, I, I don't think we we should ever get an opportunity to thank our veterans enough. And, uh, you know, we all saw kind of how that road was uh, last winter. And some of these gentlemen uh, who have mo mobility issues had to struggle to uh, pay tribute to uh, to their friends and uh, comrades. And, and that was very difficult and should no way have ever happened. So I'm glad that the city can step in and rectify this problem. So thank you again to you and your staff. Madam Chair, thank you. Thank you very much for the recognition. Any other questions or comments from the committee? Hearing none, any public comment? Okay, hearing and seeing none, I would entertain a motion. Madam Chair, I move to accept the bid in an amount not to exceed $329,161.57. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Councilman Cook and a second by Councilman White. Is there any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, um, all in favor say aye. 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 This item will move forward with a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. We've concluded all of our business on our agenda for today. Um, so this meeting is adjourned.